The planter calculator is a simple little utility that is useful for calculating uh, some of the basic needs for a uh, planter. And when we see planters, they can be of different sizes and different shapes. And these are typically things that people will have inside or out in their yard where they'll put in soil and then they will uh, raise plants, flowers, vegetables, whatever you wish. So the planter calculator is fairly simple. It has uh, four main characteristics, uh, four main tabs, if you will. The first one is soil. It will tell you how much soil you need uh, inside your planter based upon its shape. And then it has some information on cost. So the first thing you need to do is determine what is the shape of your planter. Uh, there's some basic ones. Obviously, the most common is simply a box planter where you need to know the length, the depth, and the width, in which case you just click on the button. And down comes the uh, pop-up menu, and you put in the depth. I'm going to put in 8 inches. We'll say it's 24 inches wide and 24 inches long. And it will then calculate how many cubic feet of soil I need. Uh, there are some standard uh, sizes provided uh, at many of the do-it-yourself home improvement stores. So if you want to buy a bag that is 1.2 cubic feet, this will tell you approximately how many of those bags you need, a little over two in this case. Uh, so it gives you some information related to that. Uh, so also it has some formulas on how much that would cost. So again, if you know your uh, volume and uh, say we had to get five uh, cubic feet of potting mix right now, based on current pricing, there would cost about 27, almost $28. And that's for potting mix, or you can look into garden soil, which I think is a little bit less. And then it'll also tell you what was the latest that this information was retrieved as of that date and what store was the data provided from. In this case, it was from Home Depot. Uh, there's also some information here on how much water is required for your plants uh, based upon some information there and then how much mulch or straw you would need to cover the area. And then there's also some basic uh, units conversions. Uh, this one's pretty useful. Uh, sometimes when you get a, a volume uh, you don't necessarily know how to measure it. So say in this case you wanted to take um, 56 uh, fluid ounces and it would basically tell you, you ba using basic kitchen utensils, that that turns into one quart plus one pint plus one cup. So again, useful if you're measuring out different chemicals, uh, fertilizers, plant foods, things like that. All right, I hope you find this useful and uh, thank you.